So tell me about the process of the school. You've been, the school's been open for how many years now? So the idea for the school was born in 97. Right. Um, we opened the doors January of 1998. That, that to me ultimately has been the most fulfilling thing I think I've ever done. You know, as an artist, as a makeup artist, we have to be an artist. Mm -hmm. So you, it's, it's kind of contradictory that you would talk during that process. Right. And as a teacher, you have to actually talk during that process and, and really <laughs> explain what it is you're doing and, and in a coherent way. Um, so for me, uh, that, that journey, that learning how to do that, learning the, the process of, of education has, uh, has been very fulfilling and very rewarding. Um, for us as a, as a company, we're, we, we never stop learning. I'm sure it's different from even when I was teaching here in 2009, 2010. I'm sure it's already evolved. Absolutely. Yeah. So basically, um, you know, throughout the years, we have gone through and, and changed things and evolved things. And we talk to the industry quite, quite often. We, you know, now we, we teach in very small little bites. We take um, a, a student and we, we explain what uh, the process is, and then from there we have them practice it. It's all about you know connecting those uh, neural pathways and making sure that you know the student, if they can do it right the first time, really gets it. it it's it's a completely different way of teaching. We we very rarely do a full blown demonstration all in one shot. Do you find that that works better, that, that new way works yeah, better than doing it, a full-on demonstration? Yeah, because, you know, you have a long demo, Let's you know, like a prosthetic appliance even. You take a prosthetic appliance and, and you show a student how to, you know, in, a, in very small little chunks how to do a prosthetic. If you show them a complete makeup, the very first thing out of a student's mouth is, hey, where do I start? Right. What, do, <laughs> I was what do I do? Where do, what, do I, what do I do first? What happened? <laughs> yeah, because there's just too much information. Mm -hmm. you know, we really want them to, to walk out of here really knowing how to do this correctly. Right. You know, and even though that student, you know, uh, we teach them a, a broad range of things, um, this is really the first part of their education. You know, part two is getting out there and working. Do you, is there times when you meet a student or, or an aspiring student who comes in and you just know, you just know that that, that they're going to succeed? You know, it's, um, yeah, well, there are times, we, we do see it, we see it develop, I mm -hmm. would say, more so than just, you know, meeting a person saying, ah, you're the one. Right. Um, it, you see it develop. And the reason why you see it develop is because um, it's the work ethic. You see them working hard to perfect their craft. They're they're pushing themselves outside of school. They're taking jobs right. while they're in school. Right. This is a good sign that a uh, that that person ha may have what it takes right. to to make it. But really, it's all about perseverance, mm -hmm. your attitude, and how hard you work. Right. That's you know if you can if you can manage those those three things, and of course practice your talent. Um, you're gonna be successful.